Here she goes. Now you're going to take this phone. Don't drop it. I won't. And we'll I go won't. upstairs. Follow me. Don't get a shot of my ass. <laughs> okay. Don't write downstairs. You've got to write upstairs. You've got to write in your attic. Or as close to an attic as you've got. Can keep up. Keep up. <laughs> Hello. Uh, this is my study. This is where I write. Very, very important to have a very good writing chair. This is the first thing. This is my very good writing chair. This is a comfortable chair. Um, because I've got odd hips as well, that often when I write, I write like that sort of thing. I do a lot of that and a lot of that with my legs like that, typing like that. I have to move quite a lot, otherwise I seize up. It's very good to have a desk. I think it's important to have a proper desk. I have a proper computer on the top of the desk. I don't like the, la the laptop and I don't, you can't write on toys like iPads. Uh, this is a picture of uh, uh, a young boy, uh, an immigrant boy. Uh, this uh, is painted by a friend of mine called Tony. And I look at that and I think, well, you know, people have much tougher times than I do. Mm -hmm. um, on my home screen, if I, this is all the files for um, the last novels I wrote, Moving, which comes out on July the 23rd. Moving, it's called. And... Um, this is, and that's the, uh, that's the cover, there you go, that's, that's going to be the cover, and it's, it actually exists, there's a, a proper paper copy, copy, paper copy, downstairs in a book form like that, the pages, paper copy pages, and, uh, but when I'm writing other stuff, this is, don't look too close up, but behind all these things, is an empty theatre and it's a picture of uh, over a thousand empty seats in a theatre in Sydney in Australia and it's basically uh, to goad me into writing stand-up and sort of pretend that these people might be sitting in these seats waiting obviously I don't get a thousand people in you know most of it's room well, a pub there's about 12 but um, at the moment I'm writing a new show which is called How to Be a Middle-Aged Woman I don't know whether you can see the, um, that's the, that's a rough of the, uh, of the poster, uh, which has had sort of some peculiar comments. Um, and at the moment I'm writing a, um, a TV review for the Sunday Mirror because TV Kev is away on his holidays and sometimes I sit in for him. Um, I don't have a lot of distraction in the room. Uh, these are new computer glasses. But I don't understand them and they don't work. Uh, if I put these on, I have to, I have to sort of, well, I don't, I don't quite understand where I'm meant to sit. Oh, actually they're working. But no, the left eye, I don't like it. It's confusing. Um, these have got blended vision. Um, so yes, I, it's quite tidy. Uh, I don't have a lot on my desk. I don't like it when it gets really um, untidy. It's probably the ugliest room in the house. Uh, and I have a picture of my partner and me and my daughter when we were on holiday once a very, very long time ago, probably about nearly 20 years ago. And um, But I don't, I don't keep much stuff in here because I, I've got to keep my head quite clear. I think I've sort of worn myself out now. Um, these are some old files. But of course nowadays, because everything's on the computer, and I back things up and I have the cloud and I do all that because it's really, really important. Um, it's, you don't have quite as much stuff as I used to. There's a filing cabinet behind and I used to keep scripts in that. Um, and, but, you know, so little's on paper now, which uh, makes storage a lot easier. But uh, occasionally I'll find, we've done enough. I think we've done enough. What you, Rachel's trying to say, say it out loud. What is it, Rachel? Oh, look at the book. Where is it? Where is it? I, said, oh, I didn't bring it up here. Oh, Rachel's failed in her task. I don't know what I did with the book. We're going to stop now. Um, well, it looks like what I showed you on the screen. Shine it down. Oh, what's the book about? Of course. God, I'm an idiot. Okay, this book is called Moving, and um, it is about uh, a woman who's lived in the house for 50 years. She's decided the house is defeating her. She gets an estate agent round. As they go from room to room, the story of the past 50 years is told as we travel around the house. And we learn that once upon a time, this woman lived here uh, with a first husband and then a second husband. 
there were twins born in the house and there was a stepson. And there are ghosts of these people throughout the house, obviously not physically go woo woo woo, but there are suggestions of who lived where, who slept where, but none of the children, well obviously they're grown up now, none of them live in the house anymore. Something has happened, what has happened, who did what to whom. There's a secret in a box um, that comes out. And then we go to the middle of the book, which is uh, narrated by someone else. And that's a sort of, that's a set in Manchester in the 1980s. And that sort of ties itself up. And then finally, we have the story retold by the stepson. And you see all angles and all sides. And you understand why, um, why there's an empty bedroom in the house where um, so somebody was no longer welcome. And we understand why a stepson did what he did and why a mother did what she did and why oh, all sorts of things. It's basically, it's about loyalties and love and blood. It's about blood, the tide of blood and how blood is very strong and it pulls, it does, it pulls like the tide. Did you write it here? What's that? Did you write it? Did I write it here? Yes, I did write it here. I wrote it all here. I don't write anywhere else. I don't like trying to write anywhere else. People say, can you write in hotels? No. My daughter writes in cafes. I don't want to do that. It's, you know, how many lattes can you drink in a day? Um, but yes, um, we're all freelance in this house. So I'm in this study. My partner's got a study through there where he designs things. And my daughter, who is between flats at the moment, has a room up there where she writes plays and stuff. So sometimes, you know, there are all these bad-tempered freelancers all sort of doing this uh, and worrying about money. That's what we mostly do. And occasionally we'll meet up for lunch. Uh, like, I've got a bowl full of Toulouse sausages downstairs. So I'm going to leave you now and I know what I'm going to be doing next. Thank you for joining me if you did. This will be put up on the Little Brown website. What we'll just do, show you, do you want to follow me downstairs and I'll show you an actual copy of the book. I think that's a good idea. So bear with, bear with. Come downstairs quickly, run, run. Don't fall. Right, where did we put it? Don't, don't show much this room because it's all cardboard boxes all over the place. There, that's a copy of the uh, book in paper form. You can buy it on Kindle as well. And it comes out on the 23rd of July. Um, I'm obviously really, really proud of it, and I hope you enjoy it too. I'm going to go and sit and I'm going to go and have a sausage and sit and read my book again. <laughs>